Ever wondered about the emerald-hued spirit that's been the muse of many a poet and artist? That's absinthe, a drink shrouded in mystery and intrigue. But how did it come to be? Let's journey back in time to unearth the secrets of this potent potable. Our story begins in the late 18th century in the town of Cuvée, Switzerland. A certain Dr. Pierre Ordinaire, a French doctor living in exile, is credited with concocting absinthe as a medicinal elixir. It contained wormwood, anise, fennel, and a variety of other herbs. Fast forward to the early 19th century, and we find absinthe crossing the border into France. French soldiers, returning from the Algerian War, brought it home with them. They'd been using it as a preventative against malaria and other diseases. The French quickly developed a taste for this green fairy, as it came to be known. By the mid-19th century, absinthe had become exceptionally popular in France, especially among artists and writers. It was the drink of choice for the likes of Vincent van Gogh, Oscar Wilde, and Ernest Hemingway. It was during this period that absinthe earned its reputation as a hallucinogenic, a misconception that persists to this day. Then came the dark days. At the turn of the 20th century, a wave of anti-absinthe sentiment swept across Europe, culminating in the outright ban of the spirit in many countries, including France, the United States, and Switzerland. This was largely due to a series of unfortunate events, notably the infamous Lanfray murders in Switzerland, where a man under the influence of absinthe killed his family. The ban lasted almost a century. It wasn't until the late 20th century that absinthe began to make a slow and steady comeback. In the late 90s and early 2000s, countries like Spain, the Czech Republic, and even the United States lifted the ban on absinthe, sparking a revival of the Green Fairy. And so, we arrive at today, where absinthe enjoys a resurgence in popularity, embraced by a new generation of enthusiasts. The allure of the Green Fairy, it seems, is timeless. To recap, absinthe's journey spanned over two centuries, from its humble beginnings as a medicinal elixir in Switzerland to its rise and fall in popularity in France, its infamous ban, and its eventual revival. This emerald spirit has proven to be as resilient as it is captivating. So next time you pour a glass of absinthe, remember, you're not just sipping a drink, you're tasting a piece of history.